Hello, and welcome along to Adobe Muse Basics with your host Robert Smith. In this video, we're going to look at creating both vertical and horizontal parallax on the same page. So let's get stuck in. Before we do that, I want to talk about backgrounds. Now, um, Muse likes to call it browser fill, like that. And the best way to put a background in is I'm just going to grab a rectangle like this. If you want to use an image, that is. I'm just going to drag a rectangle out to 100%, like that. Zoom out so I can see it. Apple minus to do that. And I'm just going to drag it all the way the length of the page. So now we've got a rectangle as a background, like that. Make sure it's 100%. Apple plus, Apple plus, like that. Let's zoom back out. Okay, now I want to fill that with something, but let's have a look what I'm going to use for that. So if I command tab over to Photoshop, you'll see I've got a, a, a poster I designed years ago. And basically what it is, um, it's really bright. So I want to use this as a background. So I'm going to go to image size and have a look at it. It's 800 by 600 pixels. So it's quite a small file. That's okay, let's see what our options are. But before I do that, that's far too bright for a background. So what I'm going to do is uh, Apple U, like this. I'm going to grab the saturation. That's for hue and saturation and drag it back to get rid of a bit of the color. And I'm going to grab the lightness so it becomes more of a texture than a poster, which will make a, a really nice background. So okay, I'm going to, I'm going to file save for web. I reckon 60% quality is good enough as a JPEG. And that's going to give me a 50K background, which is pretty good. Save like this. And I've already got it there. And I'll save it as background one. And I'll replace that. OK, let's command tab back to Muse. And let's click on fill up here. We've got that uh, rectangle selected. And we'll add an image. Now, we want background one. So I'll open that. And if we click off, you can see that's the size of it compared to the page. The page is massive, and that's quite small. So let's look at what our options are to correct that. So I'm going to click on Fill again. I'm going to go to Scale to Fit. You'll notice it scales the image up to the 100% width, but it doesn't really stretch out far enough. So Scale to Fill. Now Scale to Fill will take that tiny image and make it really, really blurry like that. And perhaps that's the look you're looking for. Or you might want to tile it. If I click on tile like this, this gives me what looks like a much, like a huge poster. So that's the look I'm after. I'll go with tile. You decide. Okay, now what I want to do, first of all, I want to make sure that's in the background. So I'll send that to the back like that. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some parallax to that. So I've got it selected. If I was to shift command E now and actually preview it, oh, I've got that happening too. You'll notice it's traveling at um, a much um, um, well, slower speed, I should say. Let me just take the motion off that before we go. I'll try that again, shift command E. And you can see it's scrolling at the speed of one, as Muse likes to call it. Okay, so I've selected it again. Now I'm gonna put some motion on that clicking this and I want it to start straight away so I'll put zero in here now here's a trap for young players you'll notice that only the vertical you can only adjust the vertical numbers that's because um, this box is a hundred percent so we, we can't really go anywhere left and right so we only have vertical numbers to work with and what I want I want it to go up at the speed of about 0.4 or maybe point yeah point four will do which is just a bit slower than half the normal speed. So if I shift command E now and scroll it up, that's still a little bit too fast. So I'll go and back in here, select it again. I'll make that 0.2. Let's have a look at that, what that looks like. Shift command E. Ah, that's better. The background is scrolling very slowly, which will enable us to put all sorts of different speeds. Okay, great. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to have this word incoming go across the stage and these three lines at different speeds. So I'm going to click on incoming first. I'm going to add some motion to it like that. Now I'm going to have zero, zero, and zero because it's starting at zero. That means it's going to happen straight away. 
Now the final motion, um, I want nothing happening vertically and two to the left. So let's have a look at that. Shift Command E. As you can see, it comes in quite quickly. It's traveling at twice the speed of the normal browser in a horizontal fashion. And the fact the background is quite slow it adds a nice little bit of drama to it. Okay, let's do the same with the parallax. Okay, I'm just going to give it the same thing. I'm going to click on motion and I'm going to make sure it happens from zero so these two numbers don't matter. And I'm going to make it go 1.8 to the left and zero vertically. Like that. So Shift Command E. Let's have a look at that. Here they come. Ah, as you can see, the orange line is going vertically, so there must be an issue there. Let's have a look at that. So we click on here. Okay. Make sure that, uh, we have it on one. Ah, uh, there's the number there, that one. It's doing that, so I'll just change that to zero. So it's zero, 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 one point. Make that make one point six, so it's just a little bit slower. Like that. And to the left, Shift Command E. Let's have a look at that. Uh, that's what I want. I want the type to come in like that at different speeds. I think maybe the parallax is a little bit slow, so I'll click on that again at 1.6. I'll make that 1.8. And try it again. Shift Command E. Uh, they're closer together now. And that's what it's all about. It's all about changing those numbers with, uh, subtly to create all sorts of uh, subtle effects with your type. Okay, let's just do the typography thing while we're here. I'll click on this type like that. Now, I'm going to give it a motion of 0, 0. And I'm going to also going to give it 339 pixels. So I don't really want it to start doing anything for 339 pixels. Then nothing uh, vertically. And we might put this at, say, 1.6 to the left. Let's have a look at that. Shift-Command-E. Here we go. Looking good, looking good, looking good. So it doesn't start. The word typography doesn't start doing its little scroll thing till it reaches its figure of 339. Okay, so that's the basic intro, how we've put a background in and we've slowed down the scrolling. And then we've um, horizontally scrolled some text at different speeds. And we'll continue in the next video. Thanks for watching.